Welcome to the assay show. This video will show you how to perform an apoptosis assay on the Saligo image cytometer using Caspase 3.7 and Hooks reagents. First, let me take a moment and describe the assay principle. DEVD is a Caspase 3.7 specific sequence that's coupled with a DNA dye molecule. This substrate can freely diffuse across the cell membrane in live cells. Once inside apoptotic cells, the caspase 37 protein recognizes and cleaves the DEVD sequence and releases the DNA probe. Once the probe enters the nucleus, it binds to the DNA, producing a bright green fluorescent signal. Hooks dye was added as a nuclear counterstain for the detection of total nucleated cells. After staining, the Saligo was used to acquire whole well bright field caspase 37 green and Hooks blue images. The Saligo software automatically analyzes the captured images and reports the total number of green caspase positive cells, the total number of blue Hooks positive nucleated cells, and the percent of apoptotic caspase 37 cells in the whole population. The captured bright field images were not analyzed and were used to monitor cell morphology. Today, I'll show you an apoptosis assay that was performed using suspension jerkat cells that were treated with three micromolar storosporine. To achieve the best accuracy of your cell plating, first measure the cell concentration by using a cellometer automated cell counter. Mix 20 microliters of cell sample and 20 microliters of tripan blue. Load 20 microliters of stained sample into the cellometer chamber slide and perform a cell count to acquire cell number, concentration, and viability of your sample. Based on the measured concentration of your cells, adjust the volume in per well plate 20,000 cells with either 3 micromolar storosporine or vehicle control in a volume of 200 microliters. After a 5-hour incubation, remove 100 microliters from each well and add 100 microliters of 2 times caspase 37 and hook staining solution to each well. Resuspend the cells and centrifuge the plate. Allow the plate to incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Whole well imaging of 24 wells was captured in 3 and a half minutes. The analyzed results are displayed in a plate-based format showing a thumbnail picture and percent of apoptotic cells for each analyzed well. Let's take a closer look at a treated sample in well D9. By double-clicking on a well, the whole well image appears for review. We can zoom in to look at the cell morphology in the bright field image, examine the staining and counting of caspase and Hooks positive cells. In this merged image, the blue outlines represent the Hooks positive total cells and the red outlines represent the caspase 37 positive cells. Saligo built-in gating interface provides the necessary tools for plotting and analyzing 2D scatter plots. Optimized settings are automatically applied to the entire plate for easy data analysis. All the data can be exported to Excel as a CSV file in plate-based layout. Each Excel file contains the number of caspase 37 and Hooks positive cells as well as percent of apoptosis. Generated bar graphs show an increased number of caspase 37 positive cells and percent apoptosis in the storosporine treated samples. These and other assays are routinely performed on the Saligo. To learn more or schedule a free in-lab demonstration, call us or visit nexalom.com.